Okay, this is a video on how to make a pen plotter. So, as you can see here, um, these are all my steps all written out. This YouTube video here has a very good description on how to do it, but I thought I may as well do one as well. Um, first of all, you have to pick a picture that you want to do. Uh, download this 2D image to STL converter here. This is what it looks like. You download it, unpack it, and you get the program running, which is right here. And then you're going to want to open an image. Uh, I'm going to pick uh, this one of my aunt with a fish in her hands. And you change the size to whatever you want. I think I had, uh, we're going to do 80, 80 millimeters here across. And uh, we have it in a locked ratio. So it's going to be about 120 millimeters long. Um, the target height is going to be our layer height, which is 0.2. Uh, th there's going to be zero base. And we're going to take these and put it all the way over to the left. Um, let's see here. Is there anything else we have to do? Uh, once when this thing's done loading, we're going to end up um, saving this and opening it in Cura. Alright, so now that it's done loading, we're going to create an STL file. Uh, I'm going to save it underneath downloads, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be pick STL. So we're going to load. Oh, that's the wrong one. Delete. things can end up loading. It's going to look like this and we're going to move it all the way up here because um, the offset of our printer uh, it, it's a little bit more uh, down I guess south it's not south but you know down one direction um, and these are all my print settings make sure that uh, these are set to zero um, no support, no platform adhesion. Expert, make sure that uh, you don't have a prim or skirt. Uh, and uh, retraction, minimal distance to zero. There's probably some more settings I may be forgetting about. Also, copy and paste this G-code right here. Um, once when this is all done, we're going to save it to an SD card. And... I'm just going to save it and upload it to my print server, and I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, bye. Also, shout out to uh, Rat Matt Meat, Rat Meat for the design. This is the design here. I took his design right here, and I also combined it with um, Chaucy, Chaucy's design for a pen plotter here for the fan, fan mount. Um, I just put the two together um, and shout out to uh, Blood Bright for this 2G, 2D image to STL converter. Thank you guys. So when said and done, this is what your print will look like. Um, you put an M3 nut in there and an M3 screw right there. I think I have a 25 millimeter long screw or something. It doesn't matter as long as it's enough to, to clip it. So now to assemble this thing, here's my A net A8. Um, I put some binder clips on a piece of paper to hold it onto my bed. And you stick this thing up in the fan mount. Or where you normally put your uh fan cooler type thing put it up on in there um and you just stick your pen down in here and tighten the screw down however we're not going to do that yet because for some reason with the g-code i have maybe uh, i don't know maybe someone could help me fix it but i just uh, i don't use it too much that it's that i need to do this but um 
will start to print and then you stick your pen in there once when it's started a little bit and then um, it will you won't have a line going across your paper I'll show you what I mean in a second okay so I started the print um, I couldn't really film it because I needed to start it and then put the pen in but you start it it'll auto level itself and then start printing um, and then you stick the pen down inside you pause the print stick the pen down inside and tighten it up and then resume the print and it will start printing I will show you what the end product looks like in a half an hour when it's done and so now we're done um, the picture didn't turn out perfect but when you adjust and play with the settings you can get some pretty decent prints anyways so that's that. Thank you. Bye.